Today, we're going to learn how to export your bubble data and bring it into a spreadsheet like Excel or Google Sheets, and then how to take data from Excel or Google Sheets and bring it into Bubble. So let's get right into it. First of all, load your app. So again, go to bubble.io, bubble.io, my apps, and click on edit for the app that you want to edit. And once you're in the app editor, you want to go to data. From there, you want to go over to app data. Now, what type, uh, pick the type of data you want to export. For us, it's going to be uh, users. So we're going to export this list of users. And you can add new views if you want to export different lists. So let's name this like a new list of users type of thing. We'll say user. And then you can select constraints within here, similar to how you add constraints in uh, other parts of Bubble to, to filter a list. So that's what we will do. That's what you can do to, to specify a different list that you want to export. So once you found the list that you do want to export, and you're going to do, click on this export button, and you will say, we want to run this in the background to CSV file. So click on confirm and hang on tight and we will wait one moment look out for the email that's associated with your bubble account and it will receive the um, the link with the file so and here we go we can see there's the file right there so we will click here to download it then let's take a look as you can see there's all of our data and we're gonna go over to this spreadsheet in here. So go to Google Sheets. I will do that right now. Go to Google Sheets. Click on Google Sheets here, go to Google Sheets, and then you'll select the blank for a new project. And once you've done that, we're going to click on File, click on Import, Upload, select a file from your device. For our file, it's going to be this file here. Let's wait one moment. We will replace the spreadsheet, separate a type, detect automatically, convert text to numbers, dates, and formulas. We'll say yes for, for right now. We'll say, sure, import data. Okay, let's make sure it's... And here we go. So we have all of our information, username, last name, temporary email, gender, of our users in this list, so 70 users. Okay, so now let's take an example where we have data like this and we wanna bring it back into Bubble. Now we're gonna take a different data set and of users and import them from a spreadsheet into Bubble. So it's important that we use a different data set than the one that you just, you just downloaded into a spreadsheet because Bubble will not allow duplicate users in the system. So to follow along with this, you can write up 10 entries as an example with names and emails. And then, and you can do that in, for example, a file like, uh, like a Google Sheets. You can go back to Google Sheets, create a new sheet, so file, new spreadsheet, uh, following along, and then add in some test information. Once you're done with that, we want to click on file we want to click on download as comma separated values. Boom, there we got our comma separated values list. Now, if you are working with in Excel, I recommend you work within Google. So to follow along with this, if you have, an, if you have a list in Excel, go to a new spreadsheet and you would click on import, upload. Now this is how you bring Excel data in. So here we have uh, an Excel file right here, test example XLX. Click here, upload it, click on re replace spreadsheet, import data. Take one moment and boom, just like that, we now have the data from that Excel sheet in Google Sheets. Really a uh, pretty simple operation. Now you know how to do that. So coming back and then again, you would want to go file, download as CSV. So you have your CSV file now go over to the use all user section in app data. So again, we're in the, the bubble app editor of your app. 
you're in data, app data, and then users, or whatever, whatever information you want to upload from a CSV. And then you click on upload. You would go over here to type a data. For us, it's user, so we select the type. Data delimiter, we'll select comma because this is a comma separated values list. And then here we select the correct CSV file. After you've selected the file, you will see the fields from the file appear at the top. The columns will appear right here and the names that you name the columns will show up here. So we want to map the fields. So first name is going to be first name here. Last name, we're going to search for last name. It's right here. Email is email. Created date, we're going to ignore that for now. And the website, it's website link. Now let's validate the data. For us, we're using a small data set, only 19, just because I want this to go fast so you guys can see it run successfully. If you have more records, it does take a bit more time. Boom, our data has been successfully uploaded to the test version of the app. Close. And that's it. That's how you do it, guys. So congratulations. You know, you now know how to bring data outside of bubble and back into bubble. So nice work. Strongly encourage you to check out our website at newagedevelopment.bubbleapps.io. The link will be down below this video. And create an account on our website. You can access our private forum where we regularly visit to answer questions about bubble development to help you get unstuck if you get stuck and you have a bug in your website or your app, or if you're looking for advice on getting clients as a web developer, we also talk about that. Uh, anything related to bubble development, you'll find in there. And the goal of this website is to turn you into an expert uh, and give you the tools that you need and the skills to be able to build any kind of website or application that you want uh, online and I'll, I'll be able to you can unleash your creativity online that's our goal so definitely want to see you there and i'm looking forward to seeing you there